Hi everybody, um, I just wanted to tell you about um, my experience with my pre-op and my surgery and afterwards. So um, before I say anything, I just want to let you guys know this was for um, educational purposes and for women who are considering breast implants. Um, I don't want any hate on my channel, so if that's what you're here for, um, this is for you and you can move on. Um, I was looking over all these videos when I first started um, like this. So, um, I hope this is helpful and that you guys can learn something from it. Um, I'm going to try and put my whole experience in one video because I know it can be annoying to go back and forth um, through different videos. It could take forever. Um, so, first of all, I raised all my money um, for my implants from donations from myprayimplants.com. So, if you're interested in learning more about that, um, I'll put a link in the description below, and I might make a video of a review um, of it if you guys would like one. Um, I raised $6,000 in eight months, which is so awesome and exciting. During your pre-op, you need to pay for your breast implants. Um, mine were $6,000 and or $6,035, which includes your $75 first appointment and the $250 pre-op appointment. Of course, it's not consistent everywhere you go. Um, it really just depends um, what kind of surgery you're getting and uh, where it's at. Because everyone has different rules and such. So, um, Heard it again. Okay, I'm not crazy. So I went to um, St. Louis Cosmetic Surgery during the summer, which they usually have summer specials going on, so that's why it wasn't so much. Um, it usually depends on what surgery you're getting. Like I said, you can get a breast lift and um, lots of other stuff. So, but I only got a normal um, breast augmentation. I just went to the pre-op on the 11th about a week ago, and I decided I'm going to go a little bit bigger than I originally planned. I really liked the 450 cc and the 500 cc, which would put me at about uh, which would put me at about um, a D or a double D. Um, right now, I'm about a B. Um, this bra makes me look a little bigger, but I'm actually smaller than that. That's another big plus about breast implants is that I'll never have to wear a push-up bra again. Yes. So that's awesome. Really excited about that. Um, a tip that um, I always got <coughs> was um, to go one size bigger than you originally planned because the number one complaint about breast implants is that the girls wish that they went bigger than they actually did. So they're kind of stuck until they get surgery again to get them bigger. Um, let's see what else. So if you're completely new to how pre-op appointments go, they basically give you a bra that they stuff with CCs, and um, they basically uh, have you try on different sizes. So I tried on the 550 last, and that's what I knew that was too much for me. I looked in the mirror and I was like, porn star status. Like, that was too, that's what I knew it was just too much. Um, but hey, everyone has a different preference, so you might like it. I didn't, it was too much for me. Um, by the way, sorry for the mess of the background. I'm working on a Halloween costume, and I, I know it's like the middle of September, but it's going to take me forever to get it done, so I'm starting now. Um, I suggest that you bring friends to your pre-op. They let me do it. Um, I brought my sister and two friends because I already had kind of a general idea of what I was looking for, but um, I wanted to get other people's opinion of what would look best on me besides my own. So I suggest you bring your boyfriend, husband, girlfriend, or whoever to help you choose your final decision. Um, I really like the 450 um, and 500, but they also told me I could go in between, so I'm probably going to go with the 475cc, 
It was actually kind of awkward because they take pictures of your chest, which is fine. I don't have any problem with that. Um, except that I had my friends with me, so when they brought out my packet, I was like, guys, prepare yourselves, you're probably going to see my boobs. And he totally just, like, pulled out my boob pics and put them on the table and was looking at them. And then he was like, how's the weather? And obviously he didn't say that, but he was definitely having a full-on conversation with me with my boobs just, like, chilling on the table from all my friends and shit. So... That was probably the most interesting ride home ever, and, uh, most awkward part of that whole experience, but other than that, I was actually really, um, glad that they were there with me. Um, something else really cool that I learned, that, uh, if you have, like, a leaking, um, implant after your surgery, um, you have, like, a warranty for, like, ten years that they replace it for free, at least my place did, I don't know they're different everywhere, but that's a really cool perk, um, which is freaking awesome, um, I, I guess otherwise it would be, like, I would assume it'd be, like, half the 6000 so it'd probably be, like, $3,000 without that, which is so cool. My actual surgery is in two days, so I will be back to tell you guys how that went, um, it's on the 19th of September, so I will see you guys then, bye! Hey, um, so this is, uh, day one of my surgery. Sorry, I know the mirror is dirty. It's not my sister's house, and I guess she brushes her teeth or something in here, but, uh, I just had my surgery, and, um, I'm gonna try and make this quick, but I'll explain more later when I'm not so, um, in pain and stuff, but, uh, basically... This is what they look like right now, but uh, they're going to drop, and they're pretty much, I'll show you, they're all, I uh, can't really see, but the implant is all up here, and they, they're going to drop um, after a few days, and it'll look more natural. Um, a boob is supposed to be like shaped like that, like more curved on the bottom. Right now mine's more curved on top and it goes like that. So, um, and plus it's all stuffed in there so the shape is really off right now but um, it'll fix itself. Um, and also I'm not wearing any makeup because that's part of the rules for the surgery so. Um, don't really have anything else to say at the moment but uh, I'll add more later when I have some more information. Okay, so today is day two um, of my post-op, and I just need to go over a few things that I didn't go over yesterday um, because I was in a little bit of a hurry. Um, so I got this pain pump to help me. I'll show you what it looks like. It numbs. Um, my breasts, where they did the incisions, this is what it looks like, um, I'll show you guys, so this was about, like, an extra hundred dollars or so, um, so this is, like, numbing gel, and it goes up and it splits right here and it goes all the way up here and about around both of my breasts. So they gave me this bra to help support um, my implants. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I'm not allowed to wash the front right here for um, three days, 72 hours, so that's why they're still riding on me. But that will still be there until tomorrow night, pretty much. Um, this is what they look like right now. Uh, like I was saying yesterday, all the implant is up here. Um, yesterday they were very shiny and hard. 
Um, and today they're a little bit softer than they were yesterday. And the shine's pretty much gone. So this is what they look like. Um, obviously they're not going to look this big when they are healed in about two weeks. They're going to drop. Like I said before in my last video, they're going to drop and they're pretty much going to look less round than this. And plus I have all this stuffing in there, all this gauze, because they also did the incision on the side. So like I said, they did their, I can't wash it at all for three days, so morning it's it's kind of bloody. And they did this incision on the side right here. Let's see if I can. So that's where they did the incision for my pain pump. It looks the same on the other side, but that's why it looks all red like that because they did the incision for the pain pump. And then they also did the incision on the bottom for the actual implants. So that's why I'm in so much pain. And plus last night I was late on taking my oxycodone. Um, I also got medicine for um, my uh, muscle spasms. I haven't had any yet. Um, that's probably because of medicine. Uh, definitely something I want to avoid because it's already in so much um, pain. Uh, but it, it's definitely bearable. Um, it's not. It's not. It's not bad, but it's noticeable. It's uncomfortable, but it's something I can handle. Um, so this is what they look like right now. And what else? Um, one other thing that uh, I had to do was take out all my piercings. So if you have any metal at all, like I actually had surface bars right here and I had to get them taken out um, because that's not something that you can just take out and put back in. Um, so if I had to take out my belly button ring, um, everything on my face. They even asked me to take these out because they thought that these would get caught on something even though there would. I still had to take these out. And they took out my um, other gauges too, so um, hopefully um, you can afford getting retainers for all your piercings unless you have something like your belly button, which um, my, I had no trouble getting that back in. So tomorrow I'll be able to uh, after after 72 hours so um, pretty much won't actually be until um, Monday in the morning since I had my surgery Friday in the morning um, I won't actually be able to take off my bra and all this gauze until um, Monday morning because that would be the 72 hours. So I'll finally be able to take this off. It's actually really uncomfortable because I have to sleep in it. And it's really hard for me to sleep in my bras. So um, there's like just a lot of pressure. Um, it's just really uncomfortable um, to wear constantly. Because uh, it's so so tight and it like it, this is what's pushing them up it's not just that the implants are up here but this is holding my implants up and um, plus all this gauze that's stuffed in there doesn't help either um I will be really excited when I can take these off on Monday and wash all that all this off so I'm feeling a lot better today than I did yesterday um, pain pills, the pain medication is really helping me, and, uh, 
I don't think this numbing solution is really helping as well. Um, and the se at 72 hours, whenever I get to take my bra off and take all this gauze off, um, I also take this out um, because this will be empty by then. And I actually, they told me I have to take this out myself. So this actually goes in the incision and it wraps all around my breast um, to where my incision was on the bottom. So after the 72 hours when I take my bra and my gauze out, I've got to take that out myself. And they told me that it will come out easy um, and that I shouldn't have any trouble doing that. And if it bleeds or anything, I just put gauze on it and tape that back on after the shower, I guess. But um, I can't, obviously I can't scrub the incision site, and I can't wash my front, I can only like brush my back. So I'll basically be standing in a shower with the water on my back. Other than that, I actually feel pretty good. I feel a lot better than I did yesterday. Um, they told me that the first 10 hours is the worst, and I made it through that. Um, so this is today, this is day two, and I can't think of anything else that I missed yesterday, so, um, I'll see how I feel tomorrow. Okay, so this is day three of my post-op, and, um, I really only have two updates from yesterday. Um, as far as the pain medication I've been taking, it makes me very tired. So pretty much yesterday after I recorded my video, I slept most of the day. I woke up pretty much just to take um, my pain pills and then I went right back to sleep. I played some video games and in between um, but I was really only up for probably five hours yesterday. I slept most of the day, and um, it's probably going to be the same today because it's already almost 7, and I've been sleeping most of today as well. Um, I have um, been having a lot of trouble um, sitting up and picking up things um, because of um, the incision on the side. I can't feel what's going on. Um, where they put in my implants really, but the side where they put the incision in for my pain pump has been really difficult to, um, um, to bear it. Um, so any, pretty much any time I have to use those muscles, that area, um, it's really painful. So I try not to sit up if I don't have to, and that's also probably another reason why I've been sleeping so much because it hurts to get up. Um, but most, once I get up, I'm fine. Um, I can't really pick up things too much, but other than that, um, that's pretty much all that um, I can say as of today. Um, I'm probably going to do one more update tomorrow whenever I can take um, my bra and my um, gauze off. and. Um, Maybe I'll have an update on that, but after that, I think I'm going to do it on a weekly basis and do um, what's new in a week and then what's new in two weeks, and that should be that should be it. So I'll see you tomorrow morning, and then on a weekly basis after that. Bye. Hey, so I actually recorded this video already, and it's going to play right after this, but one thing that I forgot to say... Um, in the video that's about to play for you is um, I was up like half the night because um, my pain pump was it felt like my skin was like tearing right there like the incision is literally like the size of a needle but it hurt really really bad and I was up half the night with just ice on it so um, that's why I, like, as soon as I got up this morning, I took it out. Um, and, um, it felt so much better once I got it out. But, um, 
I just wanted to put that in there before you saw the video, so here you go. Hi, so I'm back after finally being able to take out my pain pump and all that gauze. I took my bra off and the relief was so extreme that I almost cried. Like, it was so awesome to take off my bra. Um, and I am so, um, excited with the results. Um, my boobs look so awesome. And, uh, it's just what I asked for. So I'm really, really, really happy with the results. And, um, I'll show you what they look like now. Of course, I'm not going to take my bra off. Um, I put the original bra back on because it's the only one that fits me now. But this is what they look like. Um, like I said, they still have to drop, but uh, this is what they look like now. Um, they'll look different in a week and then a week after that which is why I'm going to do two more post-op um, videos. But this is what they look like now. Um, I took my uh, my um, pain pump out and I put some gauze on it. And um, in my last video, I said that I should wash it and then put the gauze on. But um, I actually reread my paperwork that they gave me. And I'm not actually supposed to be washing it until 24 hours after I take my, my uh, paint pump out. So I'll actually be taking this off and washing it tomorrow, at this time tomorrow. Um, but I don't need to update that. Um, because there shouldn't be anything new except that it'll be um, cleaner. So... Um, I'm really, um, I'm a lot more comfortable now. It feels so much better without all that gauze in there. Um, and I'm, I'm just so, I'm so happy with the results. So, this is what they look like right now. And, uh, I'll show you what they look like in a week. So I'm at um, one week post-op, actually it's eight days, um, because it's Saturday, um, but I didn't have time to do it yesterday, so um, you can definitely tell that they're not so round anymore. They've dropped a lot, um, and they're not so round on the top, um, but the, the, the last week... I have been experiencing what I believe are muscle spasms. Um, at least I think they are because I don't know what else they could be. It's like, it feels like electric shocks, like going through my breast. And it's extremely painful. And the only thing that seems to help is the pressure of um, the tightness of my bra. So I had actually went. Um, bra shopping because this bra is, um, like I said, it's uncomfortable to sleep in. Um, so I went, uh, I went shopping and I got a whole bunch of bras that are comfortable, but when I'm not wearing this one because it's so tight, like, I really spazzed out. My nose ring is crooked. It's bothering me. Okay, so, um, what was I saying? So yeah, I got all these bras that I can't even wear, and then I tried to take a bath, and that's pretty much how I've been washing myself, as I sit in the tub and I wash my, I wash my body, and then whenever it came time to wash my hair, I, w I planned on just turning the shower on, because I'm not supposed to get it wet under here, because I still have the tape on, um, uh, so I plan on taking my bra off to take a shower, and as soon as I took my bra off, I, I was spazzing out, like, my muscle and, like, those shock 
what felt like shockwaves going through my breast, and it's extremely painful, so, um, I help, hopefully, I still had the, the water in the tub, so I just put this back on, and I pretty much just looked retarded, just, like, dunking my head in the water, and, um, put in conditioner and shampoo in it, and, I mean, <laughs> it worked, but, uh, it was really weird, and it was really painful, it was super, super painful, and, um, I ran out of Valium, which was for the, the, um, the muscle spasms in the first place, which is why I guess I wasn't having them originally, so, um, I actually missed my, uh, one-week post-op appointment yesterday, um, I didn't know that I was supposed to go to, to it, um, they gave me a card which I remember, I remember it now, but, um, I didn't remember, plus they usually call and be like, hey, we just want to make sure you're coming to this appointment, um, and they did this time, not that I'm blaming them, of course, it's my fault, but I miss it, and so now I, I still have that tape on there, but I'm gonna get that taken care of on Monday, I had to reschedule, um, what else? Oh, so, yeah, um, I had ordered more Valium, and it seems to be working okay. I'm still scared to take off this bra, because, like I said, it is very, very painful. Um, so, I'm just, oh, and you can, you can see that they're, um, a much different shape than they were when I started. Um, when I started, like, they were, like, way up here and they were kind of, there was like a space, there was like a space like this, um, so now like they've dropped, and they're kind of more pushed together, um, and this is the same bra, so you can, you can see exactly what's happening, um, so this is what they look like now, um, and I, I really do absolutely love them, it's just, I, the spasms are, are awful. Um, oh, and I also have been having um, um, little spikes of pain where I had my incision for my implants, which that's never happened before. Um, I didn't ha I've never had any trouble with that, but I've also never not make medication for the pain in general because I got I got medication for the mus muscle spasms and the muscle, and, uh, medication for the pain, and I, I got the one for the, the muscle spasms refilled, but I don't have the one for the pain refilled, so I'm probably just going to start taking ibuprofen for that, instead of ordering more, which is probably stupid, but, I mean, the pain isn't that bad, it's, it's, um, it only comes occasionally, and it's only when I'm, like, last night I went to a bar, and it was karaoke night, and I was dancing my ass off, and, like, whatever, I, like, I don't know, do, doing certain, like, sudden moves, like, it, it made me, I don't know how to say this, uh, it striked pain, um, in that incision area, but it's, I've only been having all this trouble in one of my boobs, like, this one's perfectly fine, this one is the one I'm having my spasms in, and where I got my incision to cut. I don't know, like, this one is, like, completely numbed out or healed or something, and this one is having all the issues. So, I think that's, that's pretty weird. And I actually called, um, I, I called, I, <coughs> I called the place where I got my surgery at, and they didn't answer, so I left a voicemail, and I explained what was going on. And they haven't called me back yet, so I guess it's not an emergency. So I guess it's not a big deal or anything. But, um, yeah, the spasms really, really, really suck. Um, so that, that's probably the biggest update is that I'm having spasms now. But, um, hopefully. This is so weird trying to fix my shirt when the screen is that I'm looking at, look, the mirror is, like, backwards, so, when I'm pulling this way, it looks like it's this side going that way, anyways, um, 
Oh, my shirt's just gonna be fucked up. So, like I said, I went to the bar, but I I really really wanted to drink something because I hadn't in a while. So I looked it up, and I can drink. You can drink after you have implants after three days, as long as you're not on the medication, of course. So I hadn't had my my medication since that morning, so it was like late at night, so I did um, have some drinks and it was perfectly fine. I didn't get wasted or anything, but I had a few. Um, and I was perfectly fine. And then I waited until that was a reasonable amount of time for that to be out of my system. And then I took my medication again. So you can drink as long as you're smart about it. Um, like last night, I didn't drink at all because, um, like I said, I was having spasms, um, and I had taken my medication when I was at, whenever I was dancing. Um, like I don't know what I was doing wrong. I couldn't figure it out. It, it's just like it's like random. Um, but yeah. Um, Whenever I do certain things, it does spaz out, and there is pain under there, so I did take my medication, and I didn't end up drinking anything that night, even though I really wanted to. Um, smoking is another thing. Um, you're not supposed to be smoking at all, because it slows the healing process, which, um, to be honest, I've been kind of failing at that, too, because... My plan was to quit smoking before, and I have been doing better, but whenever I'm in a group of people, not that I'm saying that you should do this, um, I'm, just, I'm just bad, and, but um, yeah, I did have a few cigarettes last night. Bad Sarah. Um, so I shouldn't have done that, and I knew I shouldn't have done it when I did it, but... I want to do because I like, couldn't drink and that was somehow better than nothing. Um, I guess the biggest update I have is um, just this, just this, the, the new muscle spasms that I didn't have before and the shape. Um, of my breasts now, and you can definitely see that they've dropped a lot. Plus, they're a lot softer. They're still they're still, they're still pretty firm, but um, like you can you can tell they're um, they they honestly don't feel like natural breasts yet, but um, they're a lot softer now. Um, I don't really have anything else that I can think of, so I will see you in one more week and see how I'm doing then, and that should be the last video. So, I'll see you in a week, guys. Bye. Okay, so this is um, two weeks post-op. A noise in the background that you're probably hearing is my friend taking a shower. Um, but I felt awkward doing a video in front of her, so I said I would do it while she was doing that. Okay, so updates. So, I got this strap. Whenever I went to um, to do my uh, first um, one week post op appointment, and apparently I was supposed to get this whenever I was right after um, I was in surgery, so they were supposed to give this to me then. Um, that I found out, but basically it wraps around. Like I'll show you. So it wraps around like this, and then you pretty much pull it, and it goes right on top like that, and it pushes down your implants, and it really helps with um, muscle spasms. Um, I don't even take my uh, medication anymore um, for my uh, muscle spasms because uh, I don't get them very often, and when I do get them, it's very minor. It's more of a, hey, I'm here, instead of, I'm here to murder you. So. That's awesome. So there's that. Um, I have to wear this for, um, I guess, like, like I don't know, I guess it depends, a week or two. Um, but I'm not wearing it anymore because my breasts have pretty much dropped as much as they're going to, and that's what this is for.
it's pretty comfortable. Um, at least after a few days, it's really, really uncomfortable the first day. Um, but that's because it's just extra tightness. Okay, so this is how they're having me wear my um, surgical bra now. It's on the very tightest setting. Um, so they're having me do that, um, plus the band on top. Um, and I had to do that for a week. Um, I'm pretty much done with that. Um, I'm done with the band, but I'm still wearing a surgical bra because it, I do rarely still have muscle spasms. And um, I'm not quite ready for regular bras yet. Um, I guess it's different for everybody, but um, you'll know when you can. And if this strap is uncomfortable for you, um, they gave me these little, um, I don't know what this is, a, it looks like a pad, but it's, it's like, um, like a squishy, soft material, and I basically folded it around like this. So that when it's up in your armpit, you're not getting like rubber. So you can pretty much wear it like this and do that on both sides. So you don't get like rubber right there. Um, something else I have to do is um, get Q-tips and hydrogen peroxide and dip this in there. And um, they took the tape off of my um, incision. So I clean under there with the hydrogen peroxide and then after that, um, I put Neosporin on it um, with a Q-tip as well. And then you put um, gauze on top of that, and then you can put your surgical bra on, and that'll keep the gauze there. You don't got to tape the gauze down because your, your surgical bra will hold it there. So I'm wearing a sports bra underneath my surgical bra now um, because my surgical bra was leaving like indents right here and around here, and it just looked really weird. So. Um, it's a, it's a lot more comfortable with the sports bra underneath. Um, it's the same shape, so you can't tell that I'm even wearing it sometimes. Right now you can because I don't care about covering it up. But um, obviously I don't walk around like this. I'm only wearing shirts like this for this video so you can see my cleavage, but obviously I'm not like, hey guys, all the time. No, I don't go out in public like this quite yet. Um, not until I can take the surgical bra off. Um, but yeah, that's what the white, um, the white thing is. It's just a sports bra. So, I'm going to show you real quick, um, what they look like comparative to the very beginning, whenever I first got my implants and was wearing this bra. So I'm going to put it back onto the last setting so that you can see what they look like now without the sports bra underneath. Okay, so this is how I was wearing my surgical bra whenever I first got my implant. So you can really see the difference now. They've dropped a lot, um, and they're not so um, round right here. Especially when you look from the side, you can tell it's more flat. Um, and they don't look so fake, pretty much. Um, and they're all, they're also um, much closer together. I feel like they used to be like, they used to look like this, pretty much, and how they're they've dropped down and they don't look so obnoxious anymore um, so they do shrink a little bit because um, they're not small anymore so this is what they look like um, I was a 34B before um, so if you're looking to get something like this um, and you're a 34B then get the 475 cc's and you'll end up some with something like this um, a 34 double D so, uh, so hopefully that gives you some kind of insight, um, if you want to go a little bit bigger and you're a B, um, most people are, who get implants are in A or B range, so, uh, this will give you, um, a little bit of an insight if, if you want to go bigger than this, then you probably want to go in the 500cc range, and if you want smaller than this, you probably want to go in the 400, 450 range. Uh, shivering. That's why I'm stuttering. Um, maybe I should put clothes on. So yeah, that's pretty much um, the updates that I have um, for two weeks. Um, I'm going to put some uh, before and after pictures in. So I wish you guys the best of luck if you are considering getting breast implants. Um, hopefully it wasn't as troublesome as mine with the muscle spasms and stuff. That were um, awful for me. 
but um, I wish you guys the best of luck if you consider going that route. Um, uh, also, uh, feel free to ask me questions, send me a message, comment below, I'm going to check up on this video pretty often. Um, so feel free to do that, and um, I'm going to insert some before and after pictures right here. Thank you for watching guys. I really appreciate it and I hope this helps somebody and um, best of luck with your surgery and your recovery if you decide to go that way.